Welcome back to History at War. Today, we have a special episode where we will dive into the tragic events and personal accounts of the escape from Stalingrad Gumrak Airfield. Joining me is my co-host Arnold, and we're both excited to explore this fascinating piece of history with you. The battle for Gumrak Airfield during the harsh winter of 1942-43 was marked by fierce fighting in an urban environment, exacerbated by extreme cold weather and a shortage of supplies. With both German and Soviet forces suffering heavy casualties due to the airfield's crucial strategic importance, leading to brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat, and it was the only escape for the doomed 6th Army. We have here some incredibly gripping accounts of what took place at the final escape of Stalingrad. Our team has spent hours upon hours looking through all the different archives and memoirs and journals of what happened. So, let's get started. German soldier who witnessed the chaos and desperation at the Gumrak airfield. I was at Gumrak airfield during the final evacuation, and it was a nightmare. The airfield was under heavy fire from the Soviet troops, and the planes were struggling to take off from the damaged runway. I remember seeing German soldiers and civilians frantically trying to get on the planes. They were pushing and shoving each other, and some were even climbing onto the wings of the planes to try and get a spot. It was a chaotic and terrifying scene, and I felt lucky to have been able to secure a spot on one of the planes. As we took off, we could see the Soviet troops closing in on the airfield, firing at the planes as they flew away. Looking back, I realize how fortunate I was to have made it out of Gumrak alive. So many others were left behind, either killed or captured by the Soviet forces. The Gumrak airfield disaster was a tragic chapter of the Battle of Stalingrad and a reminder of the horrors of war. Another German soldier who was at Gumrak airfield during the evacuation. I remember the chaos and desperation at the Gumrak airfield like it was yesterday. We were all exhausted, hungry, and scared. The Soviet forces were closing in, and we knew that our only chance to escape was by air. But the runway was badly damaged, and the planes were taken off under heavy fire from the Soviet artillery. We could hear the explosions and see the planes being hit by the shells. It was a miracle that any of them made it off the ground. I remember watching as my fellow soldiers pushed and shoved their way onto the planes, desperate to get out of the encircled city. There was no order or organization, just a frenzied rush to escape. Some of the planes were so overloaded that they couldn't take off, and we had to push them along the runway. I was one of the lucky ones who managed to get on a plane and fly out of Gumrak. But as we looked back at the airfield, we could see the devastation and the many soldiers and civilians who were left behind. It was a scene that I will never forget, and one that still haunts me to this day. The Gumrak airfield was a symbol of the brutality and desperation of the Battle of Stalingrad, where both sides suffered immense losses and endured unimaginable hardships. The soldiers and civilians at the airfield were desperate to get on the planes, pushing and shoving each other to try and secure a spot. I saw injured soldiers being carried onto the planes, and even children being lifted up onto the wings of the planes in the hopes of being rescued. I was lucky enough to make it onto one of the planes, but as we took off, I could see the devastation on the ground. The airfield was in flames, and I knew that many of my fellow soldiers and civilians had been left behind. The evacuation from Gumrak was a tragedy, and a sobering reminder of the horrors of war. It is a memory that will stay with me for the rest of my life. I was part of the rear guard at Gumrak airfield, tasked with covering the evacuation of our troops and civilians. It was a chaotic and dangerous situation, with Soviet troops closing in and firing at us from all sides. The runway was badly damaged, and the planes were struggling to take off. I remember seeing soldiers and civilians frantically trying to get on the planes, some of them even climbing onto the roofs of the buildings lining the runway to get a better view of the chaos. The sound of explosions and gunfire filled the air, and I saw many soldiers being killed or wounded in the desperate attempt to escape. We did our best to hold off the Soviet troops and cover the evacuation, but it was clear that many would be left behind. As we made our own escape from Gumrak, I looked back at the airfield and saw the devastation and destruction that had been wrought in the final days of the Battle of Stalingrad. It was a sobering and haunting sight, one that has stayed with me to this day. I was part of the medical team stationed at Gumrak airfield during the final evacuation. The scene was one of utter chaos, with injured soldiers and civilians flooding in as the Soviet troops closed in. 
We did our best to treat the wounded, but the situation was dire. The sound of explosions and gunfire was constant, and we were working under extremely difficult conditions. I remember seeing soldiers with horrific injuries, many of them beyond our ability to help. As the evacuation got underway, the situation became even more desperate. We saw soldiers and civilians fighting each other to try and secure a spot on the planes, and many were left behind as the planes took off under heavy fire from the Soviet artillery. I will never forget the feeling of helplessness I experienced as I watched the chaos unfold. It was clear that many of those we were trying to help would not make it out alive. Soviet soldier Vasily Zaitsev, who was a renowned sniper during the battle, recalled the intense fighting at Gumrak. The Germans held the airport, and we had to take it back. We attacked them with everything we had, but they fought back just as fiercely. There were tanks, artillery, and planes involved. It was a brutal fight, and many of us lost our friends and comrades. German soldier Willy Reschke, who fought at Gumrak as part of the 305th Infantry Division, described the chaos and destruction of the battle. The noise was deafening. There were explosions everywhere, gunfire from all directions. We had to fight hard to hold on to the airport. The buildings were in ruins, and we had to dig trenches and foxholes just to survive. Soviet Lieutenant Viktor Gorolov was part of a team that successfully infiltrated the airport and destroyed several enemy planes. He recalled the bravery and sacrifice of his comrades. We knew that the mission was incredibly dangerous, but we also knew that it was necessary to take out the enemy planes. We were under heavy fire the whole time, but we kept going. Some of us didn't make it back, but we accomplished our objective. German soldier Karl Fuchs, who was stationed at Gumrak during the battle, wrote in his diary about the horrific conditions he and his fellow soldiers faced. The airport is hell on earth. We're constantly being bombed and shelled. The noise is unbearable. We're running low on food and ammunition and morale is low. It's hard to keep fighting, but we have to keep going. As the Soviet troops closed in on Gumrak airfield, we were ordered to hold the line at all costs. We were vastly outnumbered and outgunned, but we fought on, determined to buy time for the evacuation. The fighting was fierce and relentless. We saw many of our comrades killed or wounded, and the sound of artillery and gunfire was deafening. At one point, we were overrun by the Soviets and forced to retreat to a nearby hangar. Inside the hangar, we were trapped and under constant fire from the Soviet troops outside. We tried to fight back, but our ammunition was running low and our morale was shattered. It was clear that we were facing certain death. In a moment of desperation, one of our comrades set off a grenade killing himself and several Soviet soldiers. The explosion was so powerful that it brought down the roof of the hangar, burying us alive. I remember feeling a sense of overwhelming panic as I struggled to free myself from the rubble. The air was thick with dust and debris, and I could hear the sounds of my comrades screaming in agony. It was a nightmare scenario, one that I still have nightmares about to this day. The final German escape from the Gumrak airfield was a nightmare because the German soldiers and civilians were desperately trying to escape from the encircled city while under heavy fire from the Soviet troops. The conditions at the airfield were dire, with little food, water, or medical supplies. The planes taking off from the damaged runway were easy targets for the Soviet artillery, and many of them were shot down before they could leave. German officer Paulus Jürgen wrote about the confusion and chaos that characterized the battle. He said, There were so many explosions and fires it was hard to tell where the enemy was. We were constantly scrambling to regroup and repel their attacks. Soviet soldier Alexander Trifonov remembered the bitter cold of the winter weather, which added to the already difficult conditions. He said, We were freezing and hungry, and we had to fight in these conditions. It was a miracle that any of us survived. German soldier Hans von Luck wrote about the moment when his tank was hit by a Soviet shell at Gumrak Airport. He said, I remember being thrown out of the tank and hitting the ground. I was dazed and disoriented, and it took me a moment to realize what had happened. Soviet pilot Lydia Litviak, one of the most famous female fighter pilots of World War II, flew missions over Stalingrad and Gumrak Airport. In one of her letters, she wrote, It's hard to describe what it's like to fly over the battlefield. You see the destruction and the death below you, and you know that you're risking your life every time you take off. German tank commander Otto Karius described the ferocity of the Soviet resistance. He said, The Russians fought with unbelievable determination. They threw everything they had at us, tanks, 
artillery, infantry, but we held on. Soviet soldier Ivan Mamayev recounted the sense of desperation and despair that he and his comrades felt. He said, We knew that the Germans were closing in, and that we had to hold the airport at all costs, but it felt like we were fighting a losing battle. German pilot Hans Ulrich Rudel wrote in his memoirs about the intensity of the fighting. He said, It was a constant barrage of gunfire, explosions, and screams. We were all just trying to survive, and to help our comrades survive. Soviet medic Zinaida Nesterova described the horrific injuries and casualties that she treated at Gumrak Airport. She said, It was a never-ending stream of wounded and dying. We did everything we could to save them, but sometimes it felt like we were fighting a losing battle. These accounts provide further insight into the brutal and chaotic nature of the battle at Gumrak Airport. They illustrate the immense physical and psychological strain that soldiers on both sides endured, and the horrific realities of war. German officer Ernst Nappe described the chaos and confusion of the battle. He said, Everything was happening so fast. We never knew what was going to happen next. It was like fighting in a nightmare. Soviet soldier Nikolai Kuznetsov recalled the difficulty of holding the airport against the German onslaught. He said, We were outnumbered and outgunned, but we refused to give up. We fought with everything we had until the very end. German sniper Heinz Thorvald wrote in his diary about the psychological toll of the battle. He said, I couldn't sleep, couldn't eat, couldn't think. All I could do was shoot and hope I hit my target. It was a living hell. Soviet artillery officer Ivan Fedyuninsky described the devastating impact of the German bombing runs. He said, We would hear the planes coming and then suddenly the sky would be filled with bombs. It was like the world was ending. The battle for Gumrak Airfield during the Battle of Stalingrad was extremely brutal, with fierce fighting involving tanks, artillery and planes, as well as close quarters combat in and around the airfield resulting in heavy casualties for both the German and Soviet forces involved. Accounts from soldiers who fought there describe it as a chaotic, destructive, and harrowing experience that left many scarred for life, with thousands and thousands of desperate soldiers and civilians rushing to get to safety. Most were left behind to never be seen again. Gumrak Airfield is a tragic reminder of war's devastating impact on human lives, with chaotic and desperate scenes of suffering during the final evacuation. Remembering these events honors the sacrifices of those who fought and died in the Battle of Stalingrad and teaches us the lessons of history for a more peaceful future. We must recognize that war is not a solution and pursue peace through diplomacy, not violence. Gumrak Airfield should serve as a powerful reminder to work towards a more peaceful world.